Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. <laughs> we got something today. This Italian property for sale in Tuscany is absolutely gorgeous. Well, that's my view. It's got outbuildings, it has one hectare of land, it has the most divine, scrumptious, wonderful, original features inside, which is going to blow your socks off. I'm, you can tell I'm excited. It is fantastic and I want your comments below. Yeah, it's got so much. I will give you the price at the end of the video. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, the first thing we're going to do is the interior of the property, and I'm going to come through the door. There has been some work which has been done here, and this is a classic, rustic, Italian farmhouse, and there is electricity. You come through the door and you walk up these beautiful stone steps, and you come into the first floor. The ground floors are all the original cantinas and stables, and we will have a look at those in the, later on, but first. Really. Look at this room. The camera is going to adjust, but a look at this floor. Oh. Oh, I, I want to rub it. I really do. It's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal cut stone. And I don't think I have seen another house. I've seen ceilings with stone or slate, but I have not seen a first floor like this in a very long time. Oh, it's just it is just wonderful. If somebody wanted a original, absolutely original Tuscan farmhouse, then really, you can't get better than this. I mean, look at the fireplace. It's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. What does that say on there? Right, let me see. This building dates back to the 17th century, I reckon, and that fireplace says 1849. Oh. It's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Uh, it's, well, it's making me go weak at the knees. <laughs> just can't. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. Just wonderful. And as we come across, and oh, the flooring, oh, man. as we come across, there is a door and a balcony. Um, and I spoke to the lovely agent who gave me the opportunity to shoot this video today, and she told me that there was a possibility that one could extend this terrace, but I'm going to push the camera out, and it is a grey day, but as you can see, what, <laughs> what a view. You are facing due south. Yes, I know it's overcast, but oh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. You are just really in nature. Yeah. <laughs> in this area, there are truffles, there are porcini mushrooms, there's deer, there's wild boar, there's, there's, there's nature. It's nature. And this house has everything uh, and more of what you would want from a classic Tuscan farmhouse. Oh, the fireplace is just unbelievable. Right. Are we ready? We're going to go into the next room. Beautiful doors. They have been painted. I like the color, but look. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now I would probably have this as my kitchen. Oh, no, maybe I'll have the other room. Oh, I just don't know. I really don't know. And when I came in here, I just couldn't believe it. Right, what are we doing? Original terracotta flooring. Original terracotta flooring. Undulating, few cracks. It's gorgeous. Now, I think that these frescoes were done in the middle of the 19th century. 
And when I, when I saw this, first of all, I just, I thought that was really hard to believe because there's a picture or a fresco of a wild boar being chased by two dogs and a gentleman on a horse with a red coat. And well, that looks more English than it does Italian. It really does. I'm just gonna pull back so you can see the fireplace and we will get back to that in a minute. And then, oh look. Now I don't believe this house is listed under the Belliate. I mean, it may, potentially it should be, but the walls are just, they're just fantastic. And as I pull up here, you can see that basically the ceiling has also been painted. Oh. Yeah, it's, 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 it's absolutely beautiful. There's no other way of saying it. It really is. I mean, look at the detail, look at the patina. Look at the way the paint's been scrapped, uh, scratched over the centuries. And I love these uh, wooden panels and this basically built-in cupboard. And I absolutely adore the one in the corner. <laughs> it's incredible. Stunning fireplace. Mm, yeah, I've changed my mind. I think I would want this as my reception room. I really do. I think I, I think I would. Peacocks. Yeah. Now I can see that some of the plaster work, and I'm going to show you that now, has blown and is coming away from the wall. And as for my restoration project, or our restoration project, I should say, there is, and I have been told, that there is a glue that you inject with a syringe inside the plaster, which actually forms a bond, so you don't have to get rid of that. Oh, what a beautiful door. Oh. Right, now, as a normal farmhouse, it leads into another room, and this is a huge double bedroom, and it has, again, the original flooring and it's just, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. There's some very nice pieces of furniture in this house. I'm going to come across. And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to give you the reverse view. <sighs> Charming, isn't it? Rustic dream. It's, it, it's a dream. That's what it is. Oh, I think it's beautiful really beautiful. Now someone's been staying here because that is a new bed. Incredible, incredible. So we've done the main entrance which will be the kitchen area. We have come through to the dining room area. Look, I lost for words really. Oh, it's very wonderful. It has a very nice 1950s kitchen cabinet in here. I mean, they are becoming all the rage. Yeah, get yours now <laughs> before it's too late. Now, depending on what you wanted to do, you can either move in or you can restore. Now back into this main room, uh, you can see it had the original sink, but that's been changed to a ceramic sink at one stage. Now we're going to go through this door. The doors have been painted and they are a jolly nice colour, aren't they? They really are. I think they're fantastic. Right, up a couple of steps and then there has been installed a new bathroom and I think personally I would rip it out. 
That's exactly what I would do. But it can be okay and functional for the time being. It has all the things that you would expect. Oh, toilet seat's not even on. <laughs> yeah, that would do for the time being. You don't need anything else. I would probably take off the tiles. I would change the tiles. I would keep um, everything in place. I wouldn't start moving around the sanitary units. It takes time and it's cost a lot of money. And basically, I would just jazz that up. Now, here is very interesting because I haven't seen this before. And I'm not sure whether that wood has been placed at a later stage but you've got the original stone tread and then you have wooden floorboards on top or large chunks. I mean, look at the thickness of that wood. Yeah, that would have been expensive. So I'm not quite sure whether that would have been done at a later stage. I just don't know. I just don't know. If we come up, maybe I'll show you that when we come back. Now we're gonna go up into the second floor The ceiling height is a little bit lower in here. Uh, country cottage. And you have another bedroom. Beautiful original terracotta flooring. Let's see if I can pull back, I get a bit. Now, all the buildings have had a new, new roofs. And that's gonna save you a bundle of money. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great day, but the, the lights and basically, oh, the view, oh, I'm going to have to get over. I'm, I'm going to have to, the, the camera's going to have to adjust because I just, see if I can get a better view of this. I wonder if I can close up. Yeah, open that window. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh, Nick, let's get out here. Oh, look at the view. Can you imagine? Oh, it's just mountains. We are 700 meters above sea level. And under Italian regulations, basically you do not need your ceiling to be two meters 75. The ceiling can be lower because obviously in the old days, ceilings were lower because they needed to heat the room. So why would you have a high ceiling? You wouldn't. I can hear the wind whistling. Now here you have a little door and I'm going to show you this because I think it's important so I can show you the new roof. But here you have the attic space. And you see, and there are two of them. Yeah, there's no point going into the other one. One, there's no window. Um, and two, basically there is nothing really to see in there, but it's a huge attic space. Yeah, new roof. Lots of money, beautiful beams, beautiful flooring. <sighs> That's wonderful. Now it has surface mounted electrics. They are the old electrics. They are connected and they are working. So you come forward on the other side and then you come into another bedroom. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's charming. It's, it's exactly what you want from your rustic Tuscan farmhouse. Look at it. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. All the doors slightly on skew over the years. Oh, honestly, now if I'm not mistaken, there's another bathroom somewhere. I'm going to try to find that. That's the one that we came in first of all. I'm just going to see. Oh, there was talk of putting an extra bathroom up here to make a bathroom en suite from here. The house is 350 square meters. And I'm just going to just get in here and you can see basically knickknacks. Now on the floor, there is the remains 
of a hive from Calabroni, which are the kind of mutoid wasps which we have here. And they're quite dangerous actually, you want to stay well away from them. But that's been taken care of. Right, where's the other bottom? See whether we can find that. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you, which I thought was really important, is that it has in this part of the stairs, if I come down a couple of treads and then lift the camera up, can you see this is wood? Yeah, stunning, absolutely stunning. Undulating walls, oh, you can just imagine it, can't you? I just cut that so I could uh, steady myself as I come down the stairs. Although it's uh, basically, it's not, you know, a difficult stairs to come down. So we go back into what we've decided to be the kitchen. And then here, next to the terrace, I suppose if you extended that terrace, it'd be perfect and come straight out. There is, and you have to stoop to get in. Yeah, you don't want to be six foot five. And here, there is a little powder room with an original sink. Oh, it's jolly nice, actually. Right, there's one other room in the main house which I haven't shown you. Oh, look. I'm going to show you these floors again because I just think they're they're so unique, really. Oh. Right, as we came into the house and we turned left into the kitchen, on the right-hand side, there is another bedroom. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And in the corner you have a original cupboard space. Yeah. And then, you know, the doors would have just locked with that handmade piece of wood just coming down to the bottom of the stairs where we entered the property and I'm going to turn right and then we're going to go out because I want to show you this cantina. <sighs> it's really hard to, uh, to, to find, you know, it just, it's just so gorgeous. <laughs> You've got the original manger and then if I come up, you can see in this area, they would have, normally in buildings, they would have used a terracotta tiling and then a concrete screed and then more terracotta tiles. But here, they've got stone. And that is the stone from the most gorgeous stone floor in the kitchen. The floor here is wonderful as well. Yeah, you certainly want a good rummage. I'm sure there's going to be some wonderful treasures. But if I come down and can you see the way it's been cut so that you could muck out? Bah. These are new doors that have been put on at some stage and they will need to be changed. Right. We're back out. And we are going to give you a little view of the land. I'm not going to go all the way down. If you would like a land map, please just send an email to info at abodeitaly.com. Right at the end on the left hand side, there is another small annex which comes with this property. Beautiful trees everywhere. Stunning. You're not isolated in the sense that basically 
We just had a chat this morning with a very nice farmer. So if you needed somebody to cut your grass, then <coughs> he would be the, the chap to, uh, to talk to. This building here is in uh, Comune, in the sense that basically it's jointly owned by the other owner of the house, which I'm going to show you now, which is on the other side. But I think we needed to come in and have a look at it. Oh, look at the door. Because I want to show you this. <laughs> that is the original oven. Isn't that a work of art? It really is. And as I mentioned before, all the buildings have had new roofs and that is using a modern material. And personally, I would just plaster that, paint those wooden joints and just plaster it. Right, this building is semi-detached and this is the other section of it. And I believe that one could purchase this as well. So you would have the whole space. I'm not quite sure how many square meters it is, but if this building is 350, there's a good possibility that that's going to be 200, 250. And that would make a jolly big house. Now, what does that say? 1847. We're going to have a little pop into this cantina. I don't have my torch with me. And we're just going to pop in, push the camera in, see what we can do. Oh, I can see it's had a new boiler. Right, so that's quite good. Uh, it needs tidying up, but now I'm just going to pull across so you can see it. Yeah, that's fine. That would have been more storage. There is no buried gas tank, and so you would have to do that. But at this moment, that basically the gas is running on two, looks like 25 litre gas bottles. What a view. Uh, it really is. I've got another couple of wonderful things <coughs> which I want to show you oh but there's this i thought it was quite fun that is an outside privy well if you don't know what the word privy is means a toilet right but i think that's basically it looks like uh, and now it's been converted into a shower actually yeah that's no longer working i can see that they've put a damp pipe in it i'm just going to walk down here and then we're going to go into what is another cantina. And uh, oh, history. <laughs> you know, I love it. It's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So we must be in the frescoed room now because if I come up, you will see that there are terracotta tiles. And I think some of those are relatively new. Yes, I do. Yeah, there's been quite a lot of work that's happened here. Beams look, all look fine. A oh, very nice couple of doors in the corner. Yeah. Now I wonder whether you could, oh, there's a little nook in there. Oh, let's see if I can get in there. You see that uh, come up? Oh, yep. I just didn't get up. Yes. Yeah, you might be able to get through to the other cantina. And the first cantina, which we saw before, there might be a possibility, depending on the restoration and depending on what you wanted to do, you could potentially make a door there to go through and then you could use this, you can either create another apartment, self-contained, or you could create one huge house. 
yeah, if you want to escape the world, this is the place to come. Right. No room not seen. So we're going to come down to the last cantina and in we go. And this is just filled with stuff. Now that is interesting because if I come up, you will see that there is stone instead of terracotta. But I know in this section, there is the big bedroom and I will tell you that the terracotta flooring has been placed on top. Oh, thickness of the walls. I would probably want to point some and I probably want to leave some exposed. I really would. It looks like there was a door going out. Yeah, so maybe you could open that up again. Oh, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, treasure. You spend a day just looking around. What does that say? <laughs> 20th of December, 1938. Right. Are you loving it? I mean, I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. Right, a couple of things. First of all, I would like to give a huge thank you to JKM Immobiliari in Kesselin and Florentina. I will link them in the description below. They have given me the opportunity to shoot this house today. And the owner of that agency is just a delightful lady. And so, thank you. Thank you. Um, also, I'd like to give a shout out this week to um, Steve and Claire, who um, turned up at my office yesterday and wanted to hug me. Yes, we had group hug. <laughs> Hi, guys. I hope you're okay. Um, oh, and thanks for lunch. Um, so, the property. We are 700 metres above sea level. The buildings itself equate to 350 square metres. There, there is one hectare of mixed land, the woods and beautiful trees, everything about, you know, around. We are approximately 30 to 40 minutes from Cortona in Tuscany. This building is in Tuscany. We are 30 to 40 minutes away from Arezzo. And the only reason why we are that far away is because the road is beautiful kind of majestic and windy and just absolutely gorgeous. And we are about 40 to 50 minutes away, I would say, or maybe 30 to 40, away from Cita di Castello in Umbria, the nearest airport. Hmm. Florence is about an hour and a half. You can either go to Florence in an hour and a half, or you can go to Perugia in an hour and 10 minutes. That's what I would say from here. It's it's had some work, but it's maintained all its original features and it is beautiful. Comments below. And the price. The price of this property is on the market right now, 298,000 euros negotiable. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. I say it every week, I really do mean it. Everybody who has pushed buttons and has sub subscribed to this channel, thank you, thank you. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. I hope you enjoy this. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Ciao.